the reunion was, was bad. bad was bad and and to be fair like i don't think any of that's put on ariana like i think she reacted it was so fresh for her like yeah, what do you weeks. expect her to do i think if anything like from a mental health perspective like it they should have pushed it out like it was too yeah. soon everyone yeah. was too fresh the yeah. goal was going to be to gang up on on rachel yeah it's true the goal was not resolution it was yeah. just like there was there was too much yeah and like we all talked about how we you know everyone kind of got wrapped up in it and, yeah. and everything like that but like bethany going in and just watching this reunion mm-hmm. not having any context of what got everyone up to the point that they were at specifically ariana mm-hmm. and then also talking about it taking out everything rachel did or said yeah. and yeah. only having all of the stuff that everyone else said to her which yeah was bad yeah it's just like it's not again it's not a balanced conversation Mm -hmm. no exactly well and that's just it and like in in the podcast she knows podcast today ariana does like say like i did go too hard at the reunion and as you say it was so fresh but she also backs up like what she said because she's like you know in that moment i think anybody would have responded the way that i did like that is just how I'm feeling about it and you know I was at the point where I never wanted to talk to that person ever again and I'm still at the point where I never want to talk to that person ever again um that's actually a really one fun little side note is that like Ariana does not talk about Tom Sandoval she talks about her ex like she yeah. specifically does not yeah. like, she won't even name him <laughs> won't I love even it. name him it's so good um but I also thought it was interesting that one thing that Rachel said about the reunion is she like she says that I never had an opportunity to speak and I just I don't think that's entirely true um I think a lot of the times the things that she was saying kind of got shot down I think one thing that comes to mind is James and Lala can't talk because they blanked (laughs) (laughs) um and so like you know she was she was she was trying to make arguments and the arguments just kind of like fell flat they didn't really make any sense like she was saying that she was accountable she did say things in the reunion it's not like she didn't get a chance to speak and if anything out of the two of them between like Rachel and Tom Sandoval I actually feel like Tom Sandoval was the one that didn't get a chance to speak because literally nobody wanted to hear from him like it's true everyone just went like (laughs) exactly like as soon as he started talking everybody was like I don't know who you are I don't want to hear you I don't see you la 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 like and that was that's what we wanted that was great but like I just I don't know like it was for her to kind of like frame it in that way it's just kind of like frustrating and also to be like, I showed this to my therapist and I also gave him no additional <laughs> uh, context. Yeah. It's just like, and then also like just her reading it slowly all yeah. in one. Like that's traumatizing. This girl <laughs> just got out of like a three month like you have rehab, uh, rehab basically. Ability, and you're yeah. going to be like, let's remember all the things that people said to you that were horrible. <laughs> Do you want to know what a bad person you are? <laughs> Let me tell you, <laughs> line by line. <laughs> it's just like, yeah Uh, I know it was it was really bad 